I'm gonna show you how to have a godly beard. See, I want you to have that perfect beard. That beard that adds structure to your face, makes your cheeks look chiseled, makes you look more attractive. And to do that, you can do it from your home. All you're gonna need, A, you're gonna need a trimmer, ideally a trimmer that has multiple clip cards, and B, you're gonna need some sort of guide. And I'm gonna explain, let's hop into this. Step one, I want you to start by brushing your beard. See, this does two things. One, it gives you a clear vision. It starts training your beard to lay in a certain direction to cover any problem areas. But two, it helps you hide or find those problem areas. See, when you're brushing your beard, you can analyze your beard and see what are your trouble areas. Where is it that it's not connecting? Where is it that it's thinner than other areas? And then you treat it. This is the step when you want to make sure you're treating your hair on a daily basis. A good example of this would be using our beard growth kit from Heat Grooming. See, with Heat Grooming, we dropped the beard growth kit that includes our derma roller and our beard oil. These are two critical that you should have in your bathroom that are natural techniques to boost hair growth in problem areas and they're scientifically proven. Both the derma roller, there's countless studies proving and showing that it can help stimulate hair growth and hair follicles that aren't active and our beard oil is using three active ingredients, biotin, turmeric, and castor oil that also help boost hair growth and the great part is that they're both natural so they don't have side effects. If you guys want to check out that beard growth kit with both products, I'm going to have them linked down below. If you buy them together, you're going to get them at a discount. If you want to buy them separately, you can do that as well. Let's say if you already have the derma roller, you can just buy the oil, but this is a critical step to start thickening your beard. This takes us on to number two. Now you're going to start drawing your lines. This is when you're going to draw the borders of your beard. Now you can do this at home with a piece of paper or a magazine. It helps having some sort of guide if you're not a barber and, and it's your first time starting. Or if you want to spend a little bit of money, go on Amazon. You can buy these beard guides. I think they're like five bucks, but it's going to make sure you get that nice symmetrical shape every single time and it's balanced on both sides. Now when it comes to your cheeks, you want to keep your beard as thick as possible and you want that curved line to come right under the temples of your cheeks. These temples, you want to highlight them because it'll give you that masculine structured angular frame that you're looking for. So coming right under that will be perfect to highlight those temples but never under the actual cheek because then that's just going to make you look like you have bubbly cheeks or chip munch. Three, now you draw the lip line. This one's crucial. Most men forget about this, but don't forget about the lip line. See, it's not just about structure, but it's also about cleanliness. And if you're on a date, it's never going to be attractive when you have your actual mustache curling into your lip. Plus, it also tickles, so I don't even know how you deal with it. So drawing that lip line, crucial. This takes us on to number four, and now you draw the straight line right by your ear. See, this is the third line that you use to start giving your beard that border. Start making sure you're structuring your beard, and anything behind that straight line should go. Again, these beard guards help, or you can use a piece of paper or a magazine to give you that nice straight line on both sides. This rolls on to number five, and a critical one, and it's your neckline. See, neck beard, that's never going to be attractive. And going too high on your neckline, that's also an error that I've used to make as well because all you're doing is exposing the bottom part of your mouth and that's going to make it seem as if you have a double chin. What you want to do is make sure that your beard line ends right where your neck meets the bottom of your jaw. That is that crucial point where you're going to add a slight curvature as you're seeing now. And again, these beard guides help a lot with this to get that perfect shape every time. This is going to make the beard wrap around your jaw and hide the bottom of your jaw in an illusion to give your beard that nice structured look that everybody's looking for, that nice angular straight cut. That's what you're looking for and this is how you achieve it. Now we roll on to number six and this is fading a beard. This is why I said you're going to need some sort of clip guard. If you don't have clip guards, that's fine. You don't actually have to shave your beard. What you could do is just put a, a, a regular anywhere from a three to a five. This is that good shadow territory for a beard where you're going to get that nice sexy shadow and just trim your beard at one level. Personally, I like to start at lower numbers right by my sideburn. So I'll start in, in a three to a four and then I'll gradually work my way up to a six and a half in that middle area. Now what this does is, on top of it giving that nice fading look into my beard, into that thicker area, it's also gonna keep my cheeks tighter than the middle of my face. This makes my face or my cheeks look a little bit more narrow and more structured, which is what we're looking for. This looks great for dudes that have a rounder face. Finally, number seven, this is a bonus one. You really don't have to do this. I'm, I'm, I'm almost tinkering with this one, so I'm testing it out. 
I call it jaw lines. So this is a new trend that I've been seeing guys do where they're gonna draw a, a straight line disconnecting their mustache from their main beard, almost right where a dimple should be. So they're gonna draw straight lines down there. Like I said, I call them jaw lines because basically what it does is it almost like gives the visual effect as if your cheeks are coming in or pushing in, giving you more of that structured, sucked in look. It's supposed to make your face look more muscular or give it more of that angularity that you're looking for. Think Giga Chad, the, the dude that was Photoshopped that was circulating around. That's supposed to be the effect and low key, it kind of works. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget to check out our heat grooming growth kit. If you guys want to check that out, it'll be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.